What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. So in the community we actually have some inside information on three new gear sets that are coming in the next big update. Uh, this update will probably come within a month I would say, a month to a month and a half. We've got three new gear sets. The first gear set is going to be Negotiator's Dilemma. So the two piece is 10,000 armor on kill. So every time you get a kill you get uh, 10,000 armor. Now it's going to be interesting to see this, how this is going to work, because it does sound quite broken, in my opinion. I mean, imagine in PvE, you kill someone, you get 10,000 armor. Now, 10,000 armor is a lot. Uh, it's a pretty high roll just on, for example, the chest piece itself. It's 10,000 armor. You get between 10 to 15,000. So I think that's pretty strong. I can see a lot of tanky bolts. Um, this is a demolitionist set, so you need, a, you need to use a demolitionist to use the, the various buffs. I think it's the five and six piece. Um, then the three piece is 30% health. So this is obviously a tank build, a tank uh, explosive build. I really like the idea, uh, especially the two and three piece. I can see running just a two and three piece and then mixing it with maybe something else because it, it makes you a bit more tanky. Then the four piece is explosive resistance. That's straightforward. Uh, the five pieces launch a grenade at the target that depleted your armor occurs every three seconds. So they're obviously promoting the uh, grenade launcher a bit more, which is great because we don't really use it that often, especially in PvP and PvE. Well, bo both sections, we don't use it at all. I mean, don't get a lot of armor, uh, a lot of ammo for it. So this looks like we can be using it a lot more often, which is great. Then the six pieces press home the advantage. Explosion stack bombardier buff. Okay, so that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. We don't really know too much details. No one's actually using the set yet. It's in the PTS, but no one knows how to actually get it yet. Each stack of the buff grants party plus 10% weapon damage. Explosive damage, sorry. Explosive damage. Um, okay, so this is going to be just explosions going off everywhere. I love the idea. It sounds really good. And the player with 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds. So that promotes the tankiness once again. So Negotiator's Dilemma, what do I think of it? Um... It's okay. Uh, it's not really my type of playstyle, but it's going to be great for PVE. It's going to you're going to be able to do a lot of damage and be a tank, especially uh, when you're doing like the harder uh, game modes in PVE. So I definitely like this set quite a lot. All right. So next up is a sharpshooter gear set, Aces and Eights. That is the name of the set. Uh, the two piece is 20% weapon handling. Uh, it seems like it's going to be stacking into the marksman rifles, which I don't really like the uh, weapon handling and accuracy. That's not very good because obviously rifles is what it, it's used for. So I don't agree with it so far. But anyway, let's just carry on. Uh, three pieces, 20% accuracy. I, I mean, it does make a little bit of a difference, but at least we get the 10% uh, marksman rifle damage for the four piece. So that's not too bad in itself. So then this is where it gets uh, confusing and complicated and interesting at the same time. So the five pieces dead man's hand. Flip a card by shooting an enemy with a marksman rifle. Headshots flip two cards. Uh, full house, which is obviously a, a term in, in when you play cards, if you guys know how to play cards. Uh, full house refills your weapon and stops ammo depletion for 10 seconds. That's crazy. I can imagine using this... Um, maybe with a different kind of weapon then we're gonna to have to see if it only works with a marksman rifle because obviously it clearly says that shooting an enemy with a marksman rifle uh, flips the cards but can you imagine if this is used with other guns so hopefully it's not that would be a very bad thing an smg with a constant shooting that would be crazy uh, so four of a kind grants 30 percent bonus armor for 10 for 10 seconds that's a lot guys 30 percent armor is a lot Aces and Eights grants the next five bullets 100% damage. Can you imagine using the Nemesis Sniper Rifle? This is going to be really good for PvE. I'm going to love using this build. Um, it looks really great. And then six piece is Sheriff's Favor. Effects of Dead Man's Hand are applied to the entire team. That's very strong, especially um, for PvE. This reminds me of Sentry's Call. So it's kind of like a, a balance of a combination of Sentry's Call and True Patriot in, in one. I like this set. It's pretty good. We've so far the two sets are, are interesting. Um, I'm coming to give them a try. So the final gear set that's currently visible in the PTS is Tip of the Spear. This is personally my favorite that we've seen so far. It's a survivalist one. So the two piece is 20% pulse skill power. Now I think the pulse is going to be very strong in the next patch. Uh, it goes with the buffed uh, talent, which gives you 20% damage to pulsed enemies. So if you could maybe stack that with this, it would be a very, very good build. So 20% cooldown reduction for the three piece. This means that skills are getting a bit more love. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to see that. I like to see the, uh, the skill buffs. Then the four piece is 20% protection from elites. So focusing on PVE, 
it looks very good. Uh, I, I would have maybe preferred the four piece and the three piece to swap around because um, no, actually no, no, you know what? The twenty percent damage uh, predicts from elites is pretty strong, but if you wanted to maybe uh, make a PVP build, I guess I guess it works out being in the four piece rather than the three piece because it'll be a bit easier to use it. So the five piece is electromagnetic trigger. Crossbow bolts are equipped with proximity detonators on impact. Bolts trigger a nine meter pulse. Um, it depends how much ammo we get for this, but I mean it's working with the pulse, so I can't complain with that one. The six piece is aggressive recon. Killed enemies trigger a pulse. So when you kill an enemy, it obviously pulses. I don't know what the distance is going to be. Maybe nine meters as well. So the party received 20% damage to pulsed enemies. So if you have someone in your, let's say in your team, who's running a six piece of this, and you run with that talent that gives you 20% damage when they, you pulse, that's that's an extra, that's 40% damage straight off. So this will work very well in teams. If you guys have, uh, I can see this is going to be the same meta in the division one, where it, like one guy runs, final measure another guy runs a striker and then the two run something like healing uh, so this is going to be very strong in a very coordinated group so i'm happy to see these three gear sets be uh, implemented into the game let me know what you guys think uh, the tip of the spear for me looks very interesting i, I really like the idea of focusing around a skill so anyways guys uh, make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will be seeing you guys in the next video peace out boys